Just watching some Matthew RK, check him out. And today, we have lots of stuff on the table here. Got some lights, some sway bar disconnects, wiring harness. And today, we're gonna be doing some mods on the Jeep, again. Um, pretty much every video. Today, we're gonna be putting on these. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go head out to the garage. So these are what have been on it for, uh, for a while now. It is the um, stock OEM tail light with the Rampage products um, like tail light guard. I don't think I'm gonna put this on after um, because the new one looks a little bit more rugged, but we'll see if it even fits over it, so we'll see. <clears throat> so the new ones I got are, um, you may notice the design is actually looks exactly like a JW, uh, damn it. There we go. So the design um, is pretty much exactly like a JW speaker, but it's like, these are $40 for the pair, and uh, JB speaker ones are over $100, so I can't afford that, because I'm broke, I'm very broke. So we're just gonna install these. Um, it comes with two tail lights, right and left, hopefully. I hope they didn't send me two to the same side, that'd be tragic. Um, the wiring hooked up already as well as this mounting bracket for the resistors as well as some replacement screws to go in there. So to get the old ones off, you just want to get a screwdriver, Phillips head, and just take off these two inside screws. After those are off, you can just go ahead and push it forward this way, and it should just come out real easy. <clears throat> and now you have this connector right here. And you just push down and you pull. Now I'm just gonna get some soapy water and spray this so I can just wipe this off just to clean up a little bit. I mean, this dirt has been sitting here for a while, I guess. Gross. So before I go ahead and do all the trouble of wiring them up and installing them fully, I want to go ahead and plug them in and make sure they work. So I have a left one right here, or at least it says left. I'm just going to plug it in like that, okay, easy connecting. And then I'm just going to go ahead and test it out. Okay, it looks like they work. Now, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and check the other side right now. Um, I'll put this right here, I guess. Great. So since these are LEDs, they do have these big resistors on them, and these get super hot. So you don't want these hanging with the wires, so you don't want to zip tie them up with the rest of the wires. It comes with a metal bracket, and you want to um, tighten these together, and then they come with clips, little metal clips that snap in, and they go ahead and attach to the inside of uh, kind of where the gas connector, or the gas cap hooks up. I'll show you guys in a second. So, can you guys see this little metal um, plate right here? So you have those two connector tabs and it slides right on just like that. 
Hopefully you guys can see that on my hands on the way. Now the resistor is going to go on the back side of this and it will keep it away from all the other wires. So it comes with some very very small hardware, a few screws and a few nuts. So I'm just going to get a screwdriver, or a screwdriver and an adjustable wrench and it should work out just fine. All right, so <clears throat> I have the resistors all mounted up and all the nuts are tightened, but I just want to go ahead and see all these wires. I kind of want to get a little bit of electrical tape and clean it up just so these wires aren't floating all over the place, kind of keep them on kind of one place. I guess you could zip tie it, but I'll just, um, just uh, kind of loom it, you know. So this will just add a little bit extra protection. So these things are all electrical wire or electrical taped up. Looks real good. Now it's the fun part. Time to install. So I have the left one here. I'm gonna go ahead and slip in this resistor piece. Should go in kind of like right there and then connect up the wire so it's real easy just snap wait for that click and kind of give it a pull make sure it doesn't make sure it's actually secured in there now you kind of just want to feed all this wire through and make sure it seats properly now i had to give the light a little bit of gentle persuasion to make sure it clicks into place and you want to kind of step back, make sure everything is uh, straight up and down, and go ahead and get those screws and tighten it down. Check with you guys once these are tightened. I'm not going to bore you with. So I got these all installed and wired up. There it is, right there. Looks really good. So I just wanted to close out the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Comment below what taillights you run. If you run those flush mount circle ones that are actually really cool. If you still run those OEM ones. Um, I actually really love the styling of these. Um, it's pretty simple and, and that's that's what I love about the Jeep. It's super simple. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because lots of install videos are on the way. And I'll see you guys later. Links in the description below to the products that were in this video. Bye.